Oh my god, this bike is fun. This thing's so mean, it's crazy. Alrighty, everybody. What's going on? Welcome to a very fun episode of Yammy Noob. Today, we will be taking out the much talked about, much uh, discussed Ducati Hypermotard 950 SP out for a ride. I'm super excited to give this bike a try. Um, people are literally gushing themselves on the internet over how fun this motorcycle is, how much better it is over the old 939 uh, Hypermotard SP, and I'm really excited to try it out. So today we're actually at Ducati Austin. They have graciously given me this motorcycle for the day, eh, ish, for a couple hours to have some fun with it and try it out. Um, I'm really excited to get going on it, but I just wanted to go over some of the specs on this bike and, uh, you know, what makes it so cool. So this is the SP version. This is the upgraded version. Um, this has the Olin front suspension, front and rear, Brembo brakes, Marchesini forged wheels, comes with the uh, Pirelli Super Corsa SPs on there, a super sticky tire, I've had them before on a couple bikes of mine. Uh, this one in particular has a couple carbon fiber bits here and there, case cover right here for the engine, and of course this 2 to 1 Termignoni exhaust system. So. I think this is going to be an absolute ripper of a motorcycle. Uh, MSRP is like seventeen nine nine nine, so like eighteen grand uh, for this motorcycle. Buttloads of torque is an exact figure. It's still got the same 939 engine, but this one is a little bit tuned than the old 939. Uh, makes five more horsepower, and uh, it should be an absolute blast. Um, so let's let's just look over it really quick and like kind of like understand what it is Ducati's going for here because you think about Hyper Motard you're like okay Motard Supermoto uh, it's got this big banana seat like the gas tank right here kind of looks you know sort of dirt bikey it's like what's Ducati going for here um, and in talking with one of the sales reps here he told me that this motorcycle is kind of like Ducati's answer to a true street supermoto because um, Ducati's not going to sell a bike with a single cylinder 450 dirt bike style type of machine they got to make the v-twin they got to make it premium um, so that's kind of what they're going for here uh, but let's get it started up and let's check it out shall we got that new next generation dash which is very cool let's get it started up you know, it's interesting, even though this engine is the 939cc uh, V-twin or L-twin, um, it uh, it sounds almost exactly like my Scrambler. It's quite funny, but it sounds a lot more aggressive when you just revs up really, really fast and really quick. Um, I'm super stoked on this dash, though. This has a full suite of electronics on it, too. Uh, and then mounting up on it, I just revved it when I got up. You know, it's so funny, like it really does feel like some sort of supermoto, which is really bizarre. Um, so in looking at it through here, you know, much like the uh, 1200S and the new generation of Ducatis, you've got uh, your mode selection here. So you go through and you got sport, urban, touring. Uh, we're gonna leave it on urban to start out with, the lowest power setting, and let's have some fun with it. It also is a little wet outside today, so I don't wanna go sliding this bike around. Um, but let's give it a shot, shall we? This bike looks to be a ton of fun. Wow, this is the strangest riding experience. Um, it just feels... I, je I like, you look down and you're like, am I on a WR? Like, what's going on here? But then you wick up the throttle and it pulls so hard because this thing is really lightweight. Um, gosh, and it just, wow, it flicks so quickly. I mean, this is an absolute hooligan bike. Ducati can say whatever they want. They can say, oh, it's a hyper motard and try to make it sound all cool and, you know, sophisticated. But this is just an absolute goon bike, like 100%. Other thing you might have noticed as well, quick shifter up and down, which is pretty sweet. Um, so you can go right down like there. You've got the green, but I'm trying to be careful with this motorcycle because it is wet outside. So we're still in urban mode. Uh, we're not going to, gosh, it just, the way it, like, man, this thing literally just falls right over. These Super Courses are really good. I mean, I love Super Courses. They're one of the best tires for sure. I mean, look at it. Holy crap. It's 
got loads of grunt. For a 939, this has loads of grunt. Yesterday I was riding a 1200S and I, I genuinely think that this has as much if not more grunt than that bike, which is weird to say, but I think just the way that you sit on it just makes it feel even more crazy, you know? Let's give another one of the modes a shot here. Let's go into touring mode. Off the throttle. We're now in touring mode. I mean, this thing just wants to wheelie constantly, you know, like you don't even have to really try. Yeah, I mean, this thing's an absolute riot, you know? We've got a bit of time with it today, so I definitely want to go take it out to one of my favorite twisty roads out here and see if we can just have a little bit of fun with it. There's a bit of a lurchy kind of feeling in touring mode uh, lower down in the revs. Because this is a full ride-by-wire system, so... It's so rapid, dude. Wow. This thing moves. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap, man. This feels quicker than the 1200S. How is that possible? Taking it out on the highway now. I think a lot of folks would take their Piper Motard SPs on the highway. And it feels just like a naked bike, honestly. It doesn't really feel like, uh, you know, a crazy kind of like street supermoto type of thing. It's actually really nice to ride. Like I'm going about 55, 60 miles per hour right now. Perfectly nice. I mean, it's not gonna have any trouble keeping up in traffic, but the, uh, you know, the way it's going down the road with these Olins and I, like, I feel like I'm just on like a regular motorcycle, but it does have a bit of a lurchy kind of weird feeling to it when you're like maintenance throttle plus a little bit here it just it's a little lurchy um but that might be due to this touring mode we might want to get it in sport mode and see if that ameliorates this problem let's give that a shot right now let's enter into here then go into sport have to lay off the throttle get on here mode I mean the thing just absolutely lights it up it's really unbelievable that this is a 939 cc because it feels dude it feels so fast these new generation Ducatis are just fantastic um, maybe I'm turning into a Ducatista but holy crap these bikes are so good Ducatis made so many strides in the last couple of years coming out with the v4 i think it all started with the v4 they were like guys let's let's get our act together like 939 has all these crazy electronic problems let's just let's really buckle down and make some great motorcycles and to be honest i think they're really succeeding um they're still positioned as a crazy super premium brand and if you're not ready for the ducati lifestyle uh in terms of expenses um you're definitely going to be uh severely woken up whenever you own one but if you're willing to put up with that these bikes are so good nowadays man and the best part is the maintenance intervals for something like this is uh actually pretty good nowadays like valve clearances happen every like 16,000 miles i think or maybe it's 24 um but it's definitely not like the old ones that were like at 8,000 miles it was like you got to check the valves and do this big service on it uh these bikes you just you, i mean you can own them and ride them and not have to worry too much about them they just kind of work i mean the thing just pulls like an absolute animal um it's unbelievable for a 939 this feels faster than the 1200 i'm not kidding this i just rode a 1200 yesterday and this feels quicker than a 1200 I think it's because it's, I think it's lighter weight and just kind of, you know, the way you sit on it. It just, man, this thing absolutely hauls. It's lunacy. Like, there's a reason it's called a hyper motor because it just, it feels hyper for sure. No, that throttle is a little lurchy. Um, there's like a weird dead spot between off and on. Uh, like, you roll off the throttle and then you roll back on and there's this like... 
can't explain it, but there's this very small space between fully off and fully on that doesn't really feel quite right. So one complaint that I know a lot of people have with the new Hypermotor 950 SP is uh, you can't disable ABS inside of the system. You have to actually unplug the fuse for you to disable ABS and, and goof around with it. And that's a shame because a bike like this, most people who own it are probably looking to disable their ABS and to goof around with it and to have fun with it. So to not be able to do that inside of the system is a shame, but I think that's due to regulations and not necessarily Ducati being like, oh, like we're not gonna let people uh, you know, remove ABS. So that is a bit of a shame that you can't do it on the fly, but you know, I think most guys who own this bike are probably just gonna get it in day one, just pop out that fuse and have non-ABS. But for regulation purposes, they need to include that. I mean, it's torque everywhere. Um, and you wouldn't expect that. I mean, a 939cc engine is definitely no slouch. It's not small, but it, I, it literally performs like an 1100. It feels enormous. This thing feels so torquey. I mean, it's wild with these tires and this suspension. This thing is like a true track weapon, but I mean, you could ride this every day of the week and be perfectly happy. This is like, do you need any more motorcycle than this? This is unbelievable. <laughs> wow, man. It just haul everywhere. No matter what gear, no matter what rev, you just, you know, this doesn't auto blip as hard as I would like. Um, it actually feels a little, soft on the auto blips you don't get that cool kind of like honk of induction when you actually rev match but i think you could do it yourself on this bike i'm not sure i'm really new to these new fangled uh, auto blippers taking it through these sweepers here i mean it's just so composed and balanced the way it flicks in is wonderful that's more due to a factor of the tires but it's just a wonderful experience this termy sounds just right too. I think, um, you know, people tend to overdo it with Ducati's exhausts. Um, like, you know, a full GP spec SC project exhaust tends to be overkill on these motorcycles. I think a termy with the baffles in, you get this wonderful low rumble, but it's not overdone. And when you open it up, it sounds sweet. I can't believe how hard this thing rips. For a 939, what the hell? I mean, I feel like I feel like I'm gen I genuinely feel like I'm riding an 1100cc motorcycle or bigger. God, I'm I'm really falling in love with this thing. This thing is so cool. Now, the real question is, does it have the same problem finding neutral as other Ducatis? It doesn't seem like it does. So maybe on this one they figured out the transmission. Wouldn't that be great? Wow, it sounds so good. <laughs> Auto blipping down is still so strange to me. It doesn't feel natural. Let's see. Nope, look at this. It does It does the same thing as every other... <laughs> there we go. Neutral is impossible to find on these bikes. I swear. This thing's so mean. It's crazy. It just does the most classic, like, Ducati pops and crackles from that twin. It sounds so cool. So we've just arrived at City Park Road here in Austin, one of my favorites, to just kind of do a quick little test on bikes. Because um, I think even though the uh, Hyper Motard is just an absolute hooligan bike, it does need to perform in the twisties. So how does it do? Um, so far, I mean, holy crap, guys. This bike flicks in so quick. Absolutely powers it out of corners. It's just got so much grunt, dude. Oh my god, this bike is fun. This bike, a lot like the Scrambler. Um, and I think these kind of motard, more upright, kind of goofy hooligan bikes, 
if they get it right, if the manufacturer gets it right, they are just able to engineer fun into these bikes. This doesn't feel like a super serious naked bike. This just feels like your best friend, um, like a supermoto or a dirt bike, but on steroids, dude. This feels like a supermoto went out to the gym and just hit that shit and got swole as hell. This really does feel like a supermoto that just like took steroids. It's an absolute blast ride. Oh my god. You could get in a lot of trouble with this bike though, man. If you're uh, a more inexperienced rider and you're not judicious with the throttle and you're not careful, like this is the most like you should not buy this bike as a first bike. Oh my god, you should not buy a 950 SP as your first motorcycle. Uh, this thing is a handful. It's fun, but man, is it a handful. If you're not, if, dude, this thing will spit you off so fast if you're not careful with the throttle. I can just tell by riding it. It's like, it commands respect in a way, you know? It's goofy and it's fun, and I'm having a blast riding it, but holy crap, it commands respect. Alrighty, guys, we pulled off here with the Hyper Motard SP, uh, 950 SP, that is. Uh, now I'm going to answer some questions on Instagram. I put up a little post and... Uh, said that I was taking this bike out for a spin and asked if y'all had any questions, so let's see. Alright, so King Jpod asks, if you were allowed to only ride on one bike for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, that's not related to the Hypermotard SP, but uh, I'd probably like a dual sport, just because like, I feel like I can have enough fun on the street and on off-road, and if I only had to have one bike, it'd probably be a dual sport, maybe like a DRZ or a WR or something. Jason Boslow asks, this has the old 1100 Evo SP look to it, does it ride like it? Love the Gen 1 Hyper Motard, but not so much in love with the others. Thoughts? I'd never ridden the uh, 1100 Evo uh, version of this motorcycle, but um, I've heard that from the grapevine, this is a vast improvement over pretty much all the other old Hyper Motards, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Lunar Overlander asks, how, is it in, how does it compare in temperature to the Desert Sled? I heard the throttle is quite twitchy. Uh, yeah, the throttle is, is a bit weird. Um, I think the throttle by wire system on the Hyper Motard um, maybe needs some kink worked out. It's, it's, it's not quite as good as some other ride by wires. And in the, in the sort of 10 to 20% range where you're first kind of getting on off throttle, uh, it feels a bit weird. It's not twitchy, but it's just like, it's not what you expect it to do. Um, temperature wise, it runs way cooler than the sled, way cooler. <laughs> it's liquid cooled, so it does well. Rep Manny asks, how many biscottis does it come with? Comes with a whole lot of biscotti action. All that biscotti on it. American a Holiday says, I am looking at buying a 14 Hyper SP821. Do a vlog and persuade me to buy it, please. How's the seat height when riding? So seat height's actually a great thing. We should talk about it. This bike sits quite high. This bike sits pretty much like a, a DRZ or a WR. It's pretty tall. Um, when I mount up on it, I'm definitely on my tiptoes. Uh, I'm six foot, have a 32 inch inseam, and I can just barely flat foot this motorcycle. So I would probably ballpark this as like, you know, for those of you who are a bit shorter, uh, it's probably going to be a little tough to ride it, but you can always just kind of lean it over to one side and just balance it like that. That's what I recommend it. People who are a little slower, people who are a little shorter, excuse me. Uh, person also asks, also, is it a good alternative to competing super motos? You know, this, uh, people like will literally hang you by the neck if you call this thing a supermoto, but I think it has so much of that DNA, so much of that feel. Um, when I was on it, it, it felt like a crazy steroided out dirt bike, so I don't know, to me it definitely has that vibe to it. It's Grunted asks, does it feel more similar to the sled or to the monster in overall feel and performance? This thing feels much more like the monster. Um, this feels like a proper sport bike, proper almost super bike-esque performance uh, from the torque, especially down low. Um, just absolutely hauls uh, through corners and just rips really hard uh, in a way that the sled doesn't. The sled's a completely different type of motorcycle, but this thing is, uh, yeah, it's very speedy. Uh, so these last two questions are about wheelies, uh, which again, it's raining, it's not my bike, I'm terrible at wheelies. I'm not going to try wheeling this thing, honestly. Uh, this person asks, how does the wheelie control work on it? And then the other person asks, how easily will it rip a dank nooner? Now this thing, I can already tell, it'll just rip the front wheel up. Nope, you don't even have to ask twice. I already did it a few times where you just like roll on the throttle and it just hovers that front wheel. It's it's such a wheelie happy bike um, that I feel like you'd have no issues with that. But 
Uh, yeah, I don't know how the wheelie control works on it because I wasn't brave enough to just crack it open and see what it'll do. It's a demo bike and I'm not, you know, I'm just not willing to chance it. Um, so that's the questions on the Hyper Motard SP. I hope you guys enjoyed. This bike is a load of fun, man. I think that if you are looking for a sport bike and you want something that just is 100% goon mode, um, that you could still take on track. Honestly, this thing with the Olins and the SPs and the Marchesinis and the Quick Shifter, um, you would have an absolute blast with this thing at the track. I would, oh, man, I would kill to take something like this on track because the way it's set up and how it's a little more upright, a little more, you know, not as leaned over. You could turn lap after lap after lap on this thing and not even feel it at all. So that's a huge uh, selling point for me for this bike. Um, I think if I was in the market for something just, you know, goofy and sporty and fun and just like an absolute hooligan bike, you really can't go wrong. This thing is so good. Um, I have so, I've got so much fun riding it today. Uh, thanks again to Ducati Austin for letting me take it out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stick around to the end. I'm going to put in probably a small bit of like raw exhaust footage towards the end. Just so you guys get a feel for how it sounds when it's outside of the helmet mic. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hope you had fun checking out the Hypermotard SP with me. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.